Hey guys, welcome to Easy Coding. In almost all of the automation interviews, you may have faced this question, where you have actually used the OOPS concept in your automation framework. So in this video, we will discuss how and where we have actually applied OOPS concept in automation framework, like abstraction, polymorphism, encapsulation, inheritance. We will go through each point in detail. Abstraction. Abstraction is a process of hiding the implementation details from the user and showing only relevant details to them. That is, act of representing essential features without including the background details. That is meaning of abstraction. In real life, we can take consider driving a car because we only know how to drive a car. We do not know how the engine works, what's happening inside when we shift gears. So the implementation details is hidden from the user. So that's abstraction. Another example is uh, ATM machine. The implementation details are hidden. We only know how to take money from the ATM machine. So let's move to the next point. That is, it also helps to reduce programming complexity and effort. And in Java, abstraction is achieved by interfaces and abstract classes. By using interfaces, we can achieve 100% abstraction. And by using abstract classes, we can achieve 0 to 100% abstraction. An abstract class must be declared with an abstract keyword. Abstract keyword is a mandatory one and it can have abstract and non-abstract method. That's why uh, 0 to 100 percentage abstraction in abstract classes. Uh, that is non-abstract determines the uh, 100 percentage abstraction level. I mean uh, if non-abstract method is included that is 0 to 100 percentage abstraction not 100 percentage. It cannot be instantiated. That means we cannot create the object of an abstract class. What we have to do is we have to inherit, extend the abstract class into some other class and we can access the parent class properties uh, via the inheritance. It can have constructors and static methods also. So let us see how we are doing in automation framework. We can apply data abstraction in Selenium framework by using the page object model design pattern. We define all our locators and their methods in the page class. We can use the locators in our test but we cannot see the implementation of their underlying methods. So we only show the locators in the test but hide the implementation. This is a simple example of how we can use data abstraction in our automation framework. Let us see how it is implemented in the page object model design pattern. This is public class profile page. Uh, this is corresponding class of a profile page and uh, web driver is declared here. And here the declaration of the web element and we have one constructor and this one is the corresponding method to access this uh, element locator. So uh, these are the page, one single page object model for a profile page. So we can have multiple page object model for home page, profile page, login page, etc. So we are not aware of these implementation details in our test method. What we are doing is uh, we will call this get username method in our uh, test method. So we are not aware of what is the implementation details even in the profile page. So that is an example of uh, autom abstraction in the uh, automation framework. Let us see some other points related to abstraction. This is Java T point dot com that is tutorials point and uh, uh, for example of uh, abstract class this is abstract class a abstract keyword is used here and abstract method in Java this is abstract void print status. There is no implementation to the uh, uh, corresponding method. The implementation are provided in the child class uh, for which class is extending the abstract class there we will provide the implementation. In this example we can see abstract class that has an abstract method. So abstract class is a bike and it has an abstract method that is run. The implementation is not provided in the abstract class and class Honda 4 extends bike that is class Honda 4 inheriting the class bike that is abstract class bike and it is uh, giving the definition for the abstract method the void run uh, it's giving the uh, definition for the abstract method that is system dot out dot window and running and running safely so uh, this is a public uh, uh, this is a main method so in the main method what happens is it, it's going to create the object of the corresponding honda for we cannot create object for the bike because uh, we cannot instantiate a abstract class that is we cannot create an object of a abstract class so what we are doing is we are creating an object of the child class and accessing that method so if we run this we will get the running safely that is the definition of the uh, we have uh, given the uh, system dot out dot print and running safely in the definition of honda 4 so we will get that that's an example of abstract class 
and another one we can see this is one uh, abstract class shape and there is one method abstract method draw and uh, this is one uh, class rectangle it's inheriting the shape and giving the uh, whatever the uh, uh, definition we can give right here so and in the circle one also extends the shape and it's a uh, saying drawing circle so if here also we can see it's creating circles once yeah circle once met, uh, object so it will call this method drawing circle let us see we will see the next concepts in the coming videos that is uh, polymorphism overriding overloading interfaces etc so thank you for watching bye bye